Shiloh, my wife, sat in front of me and was looking at me with questioning eyes. The past nine months had been so long being away from her and the children. I had seen them briefly, but not for long enough periods. I missed them. And uh, it felt like a part of me was missing when I was away from them. I was so thankful to Shiloh for pushing me to go stick it out and not give in to my constant pleas to come home before my recovery time was finished. I looked at her again and saw how these past nine months had taken its toll on her. She had lost a lot of weight. She looked tired and I saw two silver hairs mixed in her hair. I had done this to her. It broke my heart to see her like this and to know I would have to break it further by giving her the answer she sought. I want to know everything. These were the words that Shiloh had said as she sat down in front of me. She had found letters I had written as part of my healing at the last rehab. So she knew most of the facts, but she wanted to hear it from me. She wanted to know it all. In her eyes, if you don't want to do something, you just don't do it. When you say you will be faithful, you will. When you say you won't drink, you won't. And when you say you won't do drugs again, you won't. I had learned the hard way. That once your mind has been poisoned and the addiction has taken root, when you try not to have a drink, the glass is in your hand. And the more you don't want to hurt those around you, the harder you fall into addiction. So, I had to start at the beginning.